What's good, YouTube? Hey, yo, I'm back with another video. I'm back to back. To back, nigga. What the fuck? Back to back with emotion. You dig what I'm saying? Make sure you guys smack the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. You dig? If you are new, smack the like button. No cap. You dig what I'm saying? Um. So, apparently... Uh, let me not give the wrong information, but... I think this video is, is about um, Yo Gotti brother losing his life. You know what I'm saying? Or situation about the little y young Dolph situation. You know what I'm saying? But I know um, Yo Gotti brother had passed away yesterday. I think I think he was shot and killed. I think. So I could be wrong. So correct me if I'm wrong if he was shot and killed. But... You know what I'm saying? Make sure you guys smack the like button. We're going to tap in to see. To, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what happened? Like, what really... What was the reason? Like, shit. Nobody smack it. Let's get a thousand likes on this video. No cap. A thousand likes. It's going to get ugly. It's going to get ugly, y'all. They killed God the brother. Yeah, they killed Juke. Mine. They went to us. What did went to us? They what? Ah, snap. Winchester. I don't probably know what's beside two real niggas. Two real niggas with a pussy in the middle, man. Y'all don't do that, man. Don't go buy a legacy. So, put right here, y'all. Two guys. Stop me up, bro. And keep in mind, I said, if I see Juke, if I see Gotti, if I see, if I see, uh, if I see me go, if I see Young Star, I ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, bro. I said if I see them folk, because these folk got some, had something to do with it, bro. These folk, the juke put a hit out. You know what I'm saying, boo? Nah, fuck it, bro. I need to say that. Don't say that. Nigga, tell the truth. Say, man, hey, bro, how you gonna feel if I told you? Hey, man, look, bro. My juke put a 40000 dollars hit on you, bro. Like, you, you, come on, bro. I'm standing on there. I ain't no, I ain't, uh, bro. I'm not no shake. Yeah, boy with me. Scared of the water. Hey, man. Feeling the same, man. Feeling the same, man. Had to leave my coat at home. You know what they say, family. They can't get to you. They're going to touch someone you love. Yeah. No yeah. The ops don't play about that, boy. The ops will test your ass. How much you turned your life around? There's always somebody from way back trying mm -hmm. to get that payback. Today, we got some sad news coming out of Memphis. The Memphis rap star. And CEO, Yo Gotti, brother had lost his life allegedly within the last 24 hours. Now all this 24 hours happened broad daylight at a repast for a well-known Memphis drug kingpin that had close connections to the victim and his family. Now in this video, we will discuss how he was a kingpin and also his He was a kingpin? The connections fuck? to Yo Gotti and Big Jup and the CMG family. Also in this video, we're gonna take a look at live footage, check out the updates on how Big Jook had lost his life, as well as take a look at the public information on why he had a target on his back. Young Dolph made rest Shit. in peace, Great. but some people in Memphis would say way before Young <laughs> King Penn that had close connections to the victim and his family. Now in this video, we will discuss how he was a kingpin and also his connections to Yo Gaddy and Big Jup and the CMG family. Also in this video, are they talking about the other guy? Footage, check out the updates on how Big Jup had lost his life, as well as take a look at the public information on why he had a target on his back. For of course the obvious, Young Dolph may rest in peace, but some people in Memphis would say way before Young Dolph lost his life, Big Jup had a target on his back. So before we go over this one, remember, I don't give you no ain't. I just give you the story. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to jump right to it. Growing up in Memphis, Tennessee, was a kid who just went by Jip. As time will go on, he would transform into Big Jip. Big Jip happens to also be a CEO of CMG Music, which is co-founded by his brother, Yo Gotti. With the number of talented artists on a roster, like Glow Rilla, ESTG, Money Bag Yo, Black Youngster, just to name a few. Yeah. Once upon a time, this that nigga got straight <sighs> bangers in his bit, bro. She sang. Money back, your girl sang, bro. What the fuck? I didn't know she was this artist. What the hell? CMG can't. Yo, Gotti himself 
wanted to sign the late great Young Dolph. Now this story was told a number of times, and we all know Young Dolph declined and made the household brand PRE, Paper Route Empire. Now Young Dolph was proposed that in 2014 by Yo Gotti. It seemed it would die down and no one would think nothing of it until 2017, three years later. Young Dolph had made a trap, played with your beef, with a Yo Gotti lookalike. Oh, your last two mixtapes. I hear you slick dissing, but that shit lying. But on the same year, Young Dolph would put out this trap. He would have had two attempts on his life. On the second time, the bullets actually landed, causing Young Dolph to immediately have surgery. And thank God he survived. And I'm Pat Harvey. Breaking news, a shooting at a popular tourist spot in Hollywood. Tonight, a rapper is in critical condition. It happened just after one this afternoon in front of the Lowe's Hotel at the Hollywood and Highland Complex. And CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live in Hollywood with more information. Dave. Right in front of where that shooting took place, we can't tell you the rapper's real name is Adolph Thornton. He comes out of Memphis. He's been a big star on the rap scene since 2014. He goes by the name of Young Dolph is his rapper name. He is in critical condition, according to the LAPD, but not life-threatening injuries. He apparently is either still in surgery or about to get out of surgery after being shot numerous times in the upper body right across the street and they say it could be back to it could go connected to a feud that rapper rap groups are having the feud that goes all the way back to february holy snooze bit god <clears throat> february of what year bit 20 like what 20 20 everybody screaming gang. this is 32 year old rapper young 15? Dolph, whose latest album is entitled bulletproof and one of the songs on that album a hundred shots and detectives say just before one o'clock this afternoon he was shot detectives say three men approached him right in front of Lowell's Hollywood Hotel today where all four were guests there was a fight young doll fell to the ground and that's when one of the three suspects opened fire no idea what the altercation was about what the verbal fight was about not at this point it just sounds like it escalated from a back and forth sort of argument seven months ago in North Carolina after a concert young Dolph had his SUV shot up. Police say nearly a hundred bullets were fired into his SUV. Yeah. He was not in it. Allegedly, there was a feud with another rapper. Detectives say much of what happened today is all caught on security cameras from the hotel. After Young Dolph was shot, he staggered into this nearby shoe store and the three suspects fled on foot even though they arrived, according to police, in this gold-colored SUV. Was the victim armed? No. Not that we're aware of. We haven't found a handgun. Nobody said he was armed. Video surveillance does not show that. Police say the three suspects are still on the loose. However, about two blocks away from the shooting, they did detain three men. Two of them, we are told, have been released, but this man remains in police custody and is still being questioned. The shooting occurred just off Hollywood Boulevard, near the intersection of Hollywood and Highland, where tourists flocked by the thousands. Again, no one that else was shot in, in except the and three suspects remain on the loose. That'd be crazy. The detective just confirmed me that young Dolph uh, was going I into the hotel the mic, and he uh, was confronted by these three men who happen to be, in their words, a rival group, a rival group in the rap world. Again, they would not give us details how this and the shooting back in uh, the Carolinas is connected, although they say they are looking at the possibility that the two are related. They would not give any other details other than the fact that even though he's listed as critical, he's expected to survive the number of shots that he took. Back to you in the studio. That's Dave Lopez. Now, in both shootings, in 2017, in Charlotte and L.A., both people who was connected was tied to CMG, with one being a rapper, Black Youngster. But you could tell the tension was still heavy. Once CMG jumped with the Instagram and made this post in 2020. I'm playing no beside two real niggas. Two real niggas with a in the middle, man. Y'all don't do that, man. Goodbye, legacy. So right here, y'all. Two guys. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that painting was at a Tennessee airport. Now, in the following year, on November 17, 2021, Young Dolph would lose his life in Memphis, Tennessee, at a local cookie spot. He was gunned down by two men while trying to buy cookies. May he rest in peace and love and condolences to his family. But my now, question is, <clears throat> when Dove High got smacked, right? Was he was already in the city already, or he just came to the city to grab the cookies and shit? Do do do. You dig what I'm saying? And two, how the fuck they know he was gonna be at that cookie place? 
And how the fuck they saw him? Or they recognize his car? I don't know. It could that too. Couple people was arrested for that. the demise of Young Dolph. That is One crazy though. Arrested. Rest in peace, bro. A hundred shot. Hernandez Govan, who was also spotted with CMG Jip. So there's three times Young Dolph had an attempt on his life, all after that public statement. And on the third time, it cost him his life. All three times, all three arrests was connected to CMG. So you can see why fans assume that Young Dolph had an attempt on his life from someone close to CMG. And to add fuel to those allegations, someone close to PRE had came out after Young Dolph lost his life and said the following about Big Jook. Knock me up, bro. Mm -hmm. And keep in mind, I said, if I see Jook, if I see Gotti, if I see, if I see, uh, if I see Migo, if I see Young Star, I ain't got nothing to do with nobody else, bro. I said, if I see them folk, because these folk got some, had something to do with it, bro. These folk, the Jook put a hit out. You know what I'm saying, boo? Nah, let, bro. I need to say that. Don't say that. Nigga, tell the truth. Say, man, hey, bro, how you gonna feel if I told you? Hey, man, look, bro. My joke put a forty thousand dollar hit on you, bro. Like, you, you, come on, bro. I'm standing on there. I ain't no, I ain't. I... Bro, I'm not no shape nars on my head, and I'm finna do this. Bro, anybody that associate with you, and this ain't got nothing to do with them other folks, bro. Cause they ain't in no, in no, in no, in no, in no, I, I like Big Booger. I ain't throwing him in no, in no foul trying to fight me up. So as you can see, it was clear that people even close to Young Dolph assumed that the reason he lost his life, especially knowing that the two men who was arrested at first wasn't even in his tax bracket, was his. Fast forward two Damn. years later, in December of 2023, Big Jip uncle had lost his life. He was identified as Las Vegas Erd, a legendary kingpin, according to Big Jip on his Instagram post, less than 24 hours before he lost his life. Now when Yo Gotti come out and say he learned the game from his auntie and his mother, he wasn't lying. My mom was in the kitchen, kitchen. my brother went to prison, prison. hate I couldn't finish college. college. I got the game from my mama, nigga, my auntie, shot Janet. In 1993, Yo Gotti was not lying, man. <laughs> he was not lying, man. Was arrested with Dover. He get all the crap from his mom and auntie, man. I said crap. Yeah, all the. I said crap. Hundred thousand dollars in cash in her house. Now, Ms. Linda ended up getting 84 months in prison after yeah. the jury found her guilty of conspiracy to possess C with intent to distribute. She took it to trial, but also in that indictment. Who they really was looking for was Las Vegas Eric, aka Eric Boban. Now, according to Yo Gotti's aunt Linda Mims, her indictment indicates that Eric Boban is her brother-in-law. And in the early 90s, he was the leader of a large seed distribution network that transported seed from Los Angeles to Memphis. And with LA being so close Damn. to Las Vegas, about a three and a half hour drive, which is why he had the nickname Las Vegas E. According to the indictment, they placed your Gotti's aunt house under surveillance. The videotapes show co-conspirators Eric and Janet Bovon entering Mam's house on September 17, 1987, with Earl Woods, a government informant. And this is how Yo Gotti, other aunt, and his mom was arrested as well. The informant testified that he accompanied Eric and Janet Bovon to Mam's house and that they carried a briefcase containing money. He said that Mam's gave a sack containing 25,000 to 40,000 to them and that they counted the combined money which totaled to 100,000 to $170,000. The government informant also testified that on another occasion, he and another co-conspirator delivered a bag containing seven kilograms of C to Janet Bobon and that she told him that she was taking the C to Mam's house but after doing his debt to society, Eric Bovan will lose his life on the last day of 2023. May he rest in peace and love and condolences to yeah. his family. His repast was on January 13th, 2024. In attendance was Big Jip and his family. It was hosted at a newly acquired event center at 6385 Winchester Road in Memphis, Tennessee. As the repast was let out, government would soon approach Big Jip Reports will come out that he will lose his life, with the image surfacing of him getting into the back of an ambulance. May he rest in peace and love condolences to his family. Damn, Cause bro. of who Big Jook is, 
it is heavily secured at this time. And once again, only 24 is here. I am the only one besides T24 that has this cover as far as the news media and other outlets, uh, other, you know, um, independent, in independent um, creators. I'll put it like that, that way, independent creators. And of course, here we go. We have the um, crime scene investigation uh, truck just pulled in, so they're getting ready. That's oh, you can't see that light is beaming, and my 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 phone is freezing. Ain't gonna lie, bro. That's crazy, bro. Crazy, bro. Condolences go to the family and shit. That shit tough. The year just started, bro. We on the sixth, fifteen of this January, bro. Fifteen days of the new year, bro. A lot of things is happening, bro. This shit crazy though. Make sure you guys smack the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next episode of TTM React. On gang.